Hello, welcome back. We're excited to see what's new at this year's Seattle Asian American Film Festival this coming weekend. Here with a preview are Vanessa Ao and filmmaker Stephen Takashima. It's good to have you both here. Thanks for having us. Just remind us what, uh, what the festival's all about, the overview. So the festival shows um, films, independent films, by Asian American filmmakers or that have um, Asian American themes or cast, um, and they're all independent films. Some of them are local films as well. That's great. Stephen, how did you get involved in the festival? Uh, you know, I just made my film and you kind of go through the festival circuit and came across, uh, you know, I'm looking for local festivals to submit to so you can right. actually attend them and meet other filmmakers and um, had heard great things about the Seattle Asian American Film Festival and so submitted and got in. And your film is one of the examples of made by an Asian American mm -hmm. but doesn't feature Asian American characters Correct. in it. In fact, mm -hmm. Um, the story is about an African-American lead character. I just watched it last night. I thought it was really good. Thank Excuse you. me. Uh, tell me a little bit about the preparation of that film. Who wrote it and how you put it together? Yeah, I wrote it. Um, basically, it came from my wife and I were walking in a, it first started, my wife and I were walking in a neighborhood behind our apartment complex and saw a few Confederate flags. And this was actually out in Illinois when we lived out there. And we're kind of, um, you know, curious about that and wondering why they were flying it. And so I just started thinking about um, thinking about that subject and if you were to talk to them, what their reasons would be for, for flying it and uh, the nature of symbols and what, what does it mean if, you know, communication is really important. And so what does it mean when we have a, a symbol and one person says it one, means one thing and right. another person says it means something else. Because so. two people can look at the exact same thing and see totally different right, things. Right. And it means something totally different to them. So your main character in the film is selling knives door to door right. and has not had much success, is getting a lot of doors slammed in his face, but he does get led into a house in which the gentleman has his Confederate flag inside. Right. So let's take a look at a clip. Hi, my name's John. I work for the Patriot Knife Company. Come on in. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, 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 thank you. I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Rock came through my window the other night. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. So you live around here, Sean? No. I live in a different neighborhood. Something wrong. It's okay if there is, I'm just asking. And interestingly, the film is entitled Civil. Tell mm -hmm. us why you chose that, it's brilliant. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of just dealing with um, some of the underlying tensions and how you can have a civil conversation, but uh, you know, even even when you're very, very polite on the surface, sometimes there can be some kind of underlying tensions that we have to deal with. Right. And, and then of course I thought of civil war as well. Right, of course, yeah. With all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, so right, that right. that was very interesting. It's a good film. I hope people will go and see it. I really enjoyed it. Vanessa, tell us about Captain Seek America who has been a guest on this show, mm -hmm. but tell me about the film. Yeah, so the film is Seek Captain America, and he found that in post 9-11 America that when he had donned this Captain America costume, he had very different interactions with the people around him than when he was just walking around in right. his civilian clothes. And he wears a turban as part of, and that's yeah. part of his costume as well, that matches up. Um, so he found that the, the conversations were different, and so, in this film, you can see him kind of talking to tourists and people around town, and he's also in the Pike Place Market as well, having conversations. And it's great because the humor of his look allows people to get, you know, to approach mm -hmm. and to start talking in ways that they wouldn't right. when he's just in his civilian garb. So let's take a look at that one as well. I am getting dressed up as Captain America, my alter ego, and I started doing this last year to challenge people's perceptions about how they saw me. All right, so I'm gonna go in, get the belt, shoes. Gotta get the gloves on. One last piece, the A. All right, let me know when I'm at a good height to go. All right. Now that I'm ready, it's time to kick some intolerant <laughs> <laughs> So this film um, uses humor and Steven's film uses tension, but they're both kind of doing the same thing. They're asking us to take another look. Mm -hmm. Another Absolutely. look at what we think we see. Right. 
but might or might not really be there. All right, The Absolutely. Registry, let's talk about this film. The Registry is a great film. It's a, do it's a documentary, and it looks at the service of some Japanese-American veterans in World War II, um, and they did the important work of serving as linguists and interpreters yeah. um, for the U.S., and what happened is they were sworn to secrecy, so their stories really weren't told. And in addition to that, there was very little record keeping, so we don't really know who all the people were um, who served um, as these interpreters. Isn't something? Right. So they were kind of written out of history they, as a result of the They absolutely were. So we don't hear these stories. And so there's one veteran who's you know, in his 90s, and he's doing this important work of collecting these people's names into a registry all by himself. So he's just collecting names and, and kind of putting the stories out there so we can learn a little bit more about these people and the important service that they That's put in. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at that one. I had two burial plots in my hometown. My brother bought a whole a batch of them for the family, and he got two of them for me. Our kids said, what do you want to be buried in California for? We'll never go see you. <laughs> so why don't you get buried here? So we're here, Arlington Cemetery. At Arlington Cemetery. You know, it's one of the greatest gifts of film is that we can preserve these stories. Absolutely. We can hear them, we can see the people involved, you know, forever. And it's great this. when they're telling the stories. Exactly. In their own words. Telling it themselves. Thank you so much for helping us preview. Congratulations on your film. Thank you. Um, you made me think, you know, that was the best thing about any short film, I think, mm. is to walk away and be thinking through. Mm. Um, not necessarily new thoughts, but just remembering that we have these these divides mm -hmm. that we still have to cross. Remember, the Seattle Asian American Film Festival happens this weekend, February 21st to the 24th. You can find a link to tickets on New Day's website.